Welcome to my virtual presentation. I'm Dr. Kibet from the Center for Open Distance and E-Learning, Machakos University. The topic of my presentation today is on facilities. And if you like my educational videos, kindly subscribe. You can like and even share. Tonsillitis is inflammation of the tonsils, two oval-shaped parts of tissue at the back of the throat, one tonsil on each, on each side. I want us to look at the two types of tons, uh, three types of tonsillitis. One, we have what we call acute tonsillitis. This, these symptoms usually last for three to four days, but can last up to two weeks. Recurrent, recurrent tonsillitis. This is what you, when you get tonsillitis several times in a year. And then the chronic tonsillitis. This is when you have long-term tonsil infections. What are the symptoms of tonsillitis? This includes one, throat pain or tenderness, two, fever, three, red tonsils, four, a white or yellow coating on your tonsils, five, painful blisters or ulcers on your throat, six, headache, seven, loss of appetite, eight, ear pain, nine, trouble swallowing, ten, swollen glands in your neck or jaw, 11, feel fever and gills, 12, bad breath, 13, a scratchy or a muffled voice, 14, stiff neck. Uh, in children, what are the symptoms of tonsillitis in children? This includes upset stomach, vomiting, stomach pain, Trolling, not wanting to eat or swallow. What are, are its causes and risk factors? Tonsillitis is caused by bacteria and viral infections. Yes, it's caused by bacterial and viral infections. A common cause is Streptococcus or a strep bacteria, which can also cause strep throat. Diagnosis. Your doctor or a doctor will do a physical examination. And this can be done by three steps. One, a throat swab. Your doctor will test saliva and cells from your throat for step bacteria. Number two, a blood test. Your doctor may call this a complete blood count to establish the, the cause, and finally, rash. Your doctor will check for scalatina, a rash like to strep throat infection. Complication and treatment. A collection of pus around your tonsils. Two, middle ear infection. Three, Breathing problems or breathing that stops and starts while you sleep. We call it obstructive sleep apnea. And number four, tonsilla silatitis or infection that spreads and deeply penetrates nearby tissues. Treatment. If you test, if you are test fine bacteria, you will be given antibiotics. And what are its home remedies? Before you go to a doctor, you can treat it at home. And these are the home remedies. One, drink lots of, have lots of rest, drink warm or very cold fluids to help with throat pain, eat smooth foods, use a cool mist vaporizer, or you may demise in your room, cackle with warm salt water, sucks on lozons with benzocaine or other medications, and finally, take over the counter pain relievers such as 
asset you more pain for a ibu profit thank you very much for my virtual presentation where i've been discussing about facilities and if you like my educational videos you can subscribe can like and you can share thank you